Hello there, welcome back to Little Pretty Tales. Right now we're starting off, actually. We're going to be looking at the Supercell. Um, right now this located too, pretty far north. Um, pretty far away, looking at... It's around 40 miles to the north and west of um, Des Moines. We're going to be looking at, again, uh, potentially today a significant wind threat across portions of Iowa, um, Missouri, and even Illinois. So, we'll um, continue to track all this. We're going to be seeing... Um, some super cells like we're looking at right now possible until around 10 p.m. and then after 10 p.m. we're gonna be seeing this all cluster together into um after um low level jet strengthens um we'll be seeing uh cl pretty strong maybe um damaging MCS heads tonight we're also gonna be seeing a watching a threat for some significant hail especially across southern Iowa <clears throat> especially before 10 p.m. um as we're gonna be seeing some more super we're gonna be seeing some supercells. Um, looking at mesoanalysis, actually, we're gonna be taking a look at that real quick. Um, along with the supercell, as it's right now, um, hey on the south, around south and east trajectory right now, and um, along with that, um, right now looking at mixed layer cape, not very high though, around 250 joules per kilogram, but this is gonna continue to rise actually. Uh, they're seeing a warm front continue to head east um, by the time, actually in six hours from now, we're going to be looking at around 2,000 joules per kilogram and at the at maxima, maxima is at around 4,000 joules per kilogram mix layer. But surface based right now is actually not bad at all, around 1,000 joules, approaching 1,500 by the time we reach a six hour time frame. We're actually going to be approaching 5,500 joules per kilogram across southern Iowa, even widespread 5,000 joules per kilogram across northern Missouri, southern Iowa, and heading into even southeastern Nebraska. Um, right now, looking at shear, shear though, this is really what driving, um, making this really super cellular. We're right now looking at around 50 knots, um, 0 to 3 kilometers for relative velocity, around 300 meters cube per second cube. It's been on the downtrend compared to this morning. <clears throat> With 0 to 1 kilometer, 100 meters cube per second cube. It's not really, it's possible we could be seeing a brief tornado or two. Um, but yeah, we also zero to six kilometer around forty to fifty knots. Um, um, low level lapse rates not too good. So um, but in the mid levels around seven to seven point five degrees Celsius per kilometer, we should be seeing some um stronger updrafts as we're seeing right now. Especially when you get to portions of Nebraska, it's also a slight risk. But looking at the probabilistics, we have 30% significant wind, 15% significant hail, and 5% tornado. I'm trying to highlight where we're going to be seeing the biggest threat. We're going to be seeing probably around this area. We're going to be seeing the biggest chance for some, definitely some damaging winds along with that. Either a supercell or... um. That MCS is expected to develop late tonight, but um, again, uh, if I could highlight where it could be, I think this area would be the zone where we're going to be seeing the most strongest of the winds, and potentially um, also, um, ba basically the they're going to be I'm um, expecting them to be hit the hardest really. So, um, but right now looking at um zero to three kilometer cape mixed layer cape, and um. Also, um, surface vorticity right now, so it's not, 0 to 3 kilometer cape is not really that high, or I have 0, so, I mean, storm relative felicity is certainly favorable, though, for a couple tornadoes or two, um, they're going to be brief, though, not expecting much damaging, really, at time, in this time frame, we're going to continue to track this, and, um, really, um, once we head to later six hours from now, it's gonna be zero to one kilometer storm relative felicity. It's only gonna be a hundred meters cubed per second cubed. Um, effective um, inflow layer is gonna be around two hundred to three hundred meters cubed per second cube. Might be enough for a couple for a superstar too. Um, this one's right now in pretty much strengthening. Really, not really much um, really hurting it really right now. Nothing unfavorable. So we'll continue to track this. I said, um, we're going to be, current dew points are right now, um, across portions of Iowa is around, 
upper 60s, even the mid 70s actually, approaching when you head to southern Iowa, northern Missouri. <laughs> we'll continue. Um, as this continues to go on, um, dew points are going to be def- basically rising by the time we reach six hour time frame. Northern Missouri is going to be around 70, 76, maybe even upper 70s as possible. And really, we'll you know, it's also temperatures around 80 degrees, maybe even upper 70s too. Um, it's current satellite imagery um, showing definitely some clearing. Um, definitely um, also showing that one cell that right now I have circled with also some clearing across portions of western Iowa and northern Missouri. Um, some scattered clouds also. Also um, portions of Nebraska, Kansas, we're looking at completely clear skies also, not cloud in the sky more than likely. So, um, really, apart from that, that's really it. And, um, yeah, goodbye.